And uh, we just had a breakthrough uh, news release um, around quantum computing yesterday. In fact, a machine that can calculate a million times faster than Google's quantum computing, but it's out of China. And the question here is, could a single quantum computer realistically perform a 51% attack on Bitcoin, given that other quantum computers might also be mining, distributing the hash rate? It's such an attack feasible. How might quantum computing affect Bitcoin security beyond mining? And can the network adapt to these threats? So we've covered this a couple of times, but again, every time a new crypto scare comes in the form of a new quantum computer, ah, it always happens. But it's also important to spread some calm out there so people don't sell their bags prematurely. Now, if you imagine where we are with uh, Bitcoin, First of all, it's not about a 51% attack from quantum. It's much more about how they could attack old wallets like Satoshi's 1.04 million Bitcoin. Could that be cracked? Cracking old wallets is more of the threat right now. Uh, for them to do a 51% attack, it's pretty much impossible. Um, in addition, uh, for them to crack Bitcoin, they need about 10 million physical qubits to break Bitcoin. And we're nowhere near that yet. It'll be 2028 before we even have to be concerned about that. And by the time that time comes, the team that work on maintaining the code base for Bitcoin will quantum proof it. So don't worry about that, everybody. However, three, four, five years from now, we might need to. Some people say 2035. I don't know. I'm always paranoid and very risk averse. So I will, <laughs> the minute, the minute there is any type of quantum risk for Bitcoin, I'll be gone. <laughs> I'll be gone immediately. So, and I'll let you know as well. So make sure you follow and uh, be the first to know. But no, no need for concern right now. But the concern would be hacking old wallets. And those old wallets need to be quantum proofed as well. That should be an immediate priority.